Go-kart accident has left a woman in critical condition after her scarf got caught in the wheel and choked her. It happened yesterday in Plainfield Township at AJ's Fun Park. The park was back open today. The owner says their safety standards are up to date. He declined to comment on camera because of the open investigation. But tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Heather Walker is learning how you can stay safe. Heather. Yeah, everyone we reached out to today says this type of accident is very rare, but it stresses the importance of staying safe while on these motorized vehicles. Welcome racer. It's one of our most popular uh, attractions. It is in the summertime, it is probably our most popular attraction. Go-karts can be fast and fun, but they can also be dangerous. YouTube videos show crashes, and as we learned from yesterday's incident, clothing can get caught and be life-threatening. Well, I was shocked. I was really shocked. Mark Weiss is the general manager at Airway Fun Center in Portage. What's the best advice? Follow the rules. Please secure all loose clothing and long hair. Most go-kart tracks play this list of rules or one similar before every ride. And before you buckle in, you also pass written rules. Big sign here. Um, and it tells all the rules. We have another one at the entrance of the track. Rules that include tying up loose clothing and hair. AJ's Fun Park has a similar setup, and the owner says they have not found any equipment or employee errors. So how Gibbs was able to get on the go-kart with the scarf is unclear. We've had our go-kart track for about nine years, and we've, uh, we've had very, very few incidents at all. That's all. It doesn't happen very often. You have fun? What's fun good? And that was the response that we got from a handful of go-kart owners we called today. They're saying that this is very rare, but this accident is a good reminder to take those rules seriously. Sue? Heather, thank you.